there is Xreal, there is Vitus, there is Rokid, there is Rainio, there is Legion, there is Asus, and just so on. Who would you guys say is the number one when it comes to AR glasses? Well, that is not something I can answer for you guys. But what I can say is Xreal has no interest in being anything but number one. And this glasses is, is a proof of that. They were the first to put a smart chip in the glasses to enable 3 Dove. Now, with the addition of this little accessory right here, they have managed to enable 6 Dove into these glasses. This is my review of the extra eye. That's it right there. That's probably going to be my thumbnail. But before I get started with the review of this extra eye, I want to do a giveaway to one of my YouTube viewers by the name Juan Jax. Is it Juan Jax or um, I'm going to put your name up here. I'm going to be doing, I'm going to giving you this. It's a virtual reality glasses, wireless, smart game pad control. I don't, yeah, you will see when you get it. Basically, this would work with the Beam Pro. You can use it to uh, control your Beam Pro. All you gotta do is set it up, connect it via Bluetooth, and it would work with your Beam Pro. If you have a Beam Pro, if you don't have a Beam Pro, you can use it with your Android or your Apple or your smart, whatever it is. There's a manual in there, so check it out. But to the rest of the world, I wanna say thank you guys to everyone that's been supporting me. Um, in regards to the x -Real 1 Pro, I do not have the x -Real 1 Pro. I know a lot of people want me to review it, but I'll give you two reasons why I don't have the x -Real 1 Pro. One is that I'm a small channel. I don't get a whole lot of views. I don't have a lot of subscribers. And when a company like x -Real is looking at that, they don't really have much incentive to send me their premium device. So I would need you guys' help to like and subscribe to my videos. You know, give me more views, give me more subscribers. That way I can grow and that way more of these companies can be more willing to give me a product to review. So that's probably going to be, that's probably one of the reasons why I don't have, they didn't send me the device because I'm just not big enough. The second reason is they might be having a, a supply issue. And I can't just easily buy one and get it the next day because it's also not available on Amazon where I can get it from. So those are the two reasons why I don't, I think I don't have the x -Real One Pro. I will try and get my hands on it. And as soon as I get my hands on it, I will be doing a comparison between the One Pro and the One because a lot of people are still trying to decide which one should they get. Should they get it, uh, the One or the One Pro? The one is going for $4.99. The one pro is on sale for $5.99. After this month, it's going to jump to $649. So you have to ask yourself, is the one pro worth $150 more than the one? Well, I can only answer that question for you if I have my hands on the two. Based on what I know, actually, I'm not even going to tell you based on what I know so far, but this video is all about the extra eye. Like I said, please like, comment, and subscribe to all my videos. I would truly appreciate you guys helping me grow. That way I can get more tech product from all these companies because the bigger my channel gets, the more views I get, the more willing they are to send me this product for me to review and show you guys. So the extra eye is a tiny device that goes into your glasses. This thing is just it's extremely small, very tiny. It goes into the bottom of the x One. It's an accessory that adapts to the glasses and it turns the glasses from 3 Dove to 6 Dove. Now, for some time now, I've been saying, for a long time, I've been saying, these glasses are AR glasses. We call them XR glasses. And every time I say AR, there's somebody in the comment section saying, why do you call them AR glasses? I actually made a video, I think last year or the year before last, explaining why these glasses are indeed AR glasses. I think that people think 
Well, people think that in order for you to call this AR glasses, they have to do like that Tony Stark stuff. That's not what the definition of augmented reality is. The definition, the simple definition of augmented reality is when a display something that augments basically your field of view. It augments your reality. It's a digital image that is placed in front of your vision that can be into your real world. Now, if these glasses were simply zeroed off, then yes, you might not be able to call them AR glasses. But because they are 3 off, it means that you can move around this digital object that makes it an AR glasses. And even more so now having the actual eye, now you truly, truly have and AR glasses because this camera gives this glasses basically superpowers. It gives it the ability to go from three dove to now six dove. So what this means is that, so with three dove, right? When you look at an image, when you have the glasses and you have an image, you can move your head around and the image will stay in place. You can tilt your head side to side, the image will stay in place. However, once you move like this, the image would also move. So if you move like this, the image will move, but it will stay if you do this. And you can't go around to look at the image. That is 3 dove. 6 dove is a game changer. 6 dove basically feels like an actual TV floating in the hair. What that means is that with 6 Dove, you can have the image like this and you can move around. You can even go around and look at the back of the image. That's just how incredible 6 Dove is. And I'm going to be overlaying the video so that you guys can actually get an idea of just how truly incredible 6 Dove is if you've never had the chance to experience it. So if you've never had something like the meta uh, not the meta glasses the the vr goggles that have six stuff these glasses right here will give you the ability to have six stuff so is it just six stuff well it's not just six stuff the six stuff first of all, the six stuff is only activated when you are connected to something like a mobile phone to your pc to your PlayStation or things like that. Six Dove does not work with it being pro when you are in uh, Nebula. Six Dove only works when you are in screen projector mode and that is on any device. So, uh, so Six Dove on any device as long as it's not Nebula OS. When you are in Nebula OS, the function of this camera changes from 6 Dove to MR, which is Mixed Reality. Now, what is Exodus Mixed Reality? Well, it's a, mix, it's a Mixed Reality video capture, not necessarily Mixed Reality as far as uh, your interface goes. So, when you are watching a movie or you are playing a game or whatever it is that you are doing in these glasses with your being pro on Nebula, if you decided you, you want to screen record, that screen record will be in exact, it will, the screen record would now show differently because of these glasses. This glasses, I mean, this camera is capturing your environment while the glasses is recording what you're seeing in the glasses and it's blending the two together which is what is called mixed reality because it's blending your physical reality with your digital reality. And that is what you're seeing on the screen right now. It's called a mixed reality, MR. That's why these glasses are also known as MR glasses, mixed reality glasses. These glasses are, can be, these glasses can be called AR, which is augmented reality glasses. They can be called MR, which is mixed reality glasses, and they can be called XR glasses, which is extended reality glasses. So 
The only thing this cannot be called is VR glasses because this a virtual reality glasses completely immerses you into a digital world. There is no aspect of your physical world that is mixed into this. So those VR goggles are known as virtual reality goggles, although they can also be mixed reality goggles when you have the camera pass through. That's when they turn into mixed reality glasses. Or they can even be extended reality glasses. So I hope now you guys understand the features or some of the uh, abilities of having the actual eye. And I hope that some of the overlays that I'm showing on the screen it will help you understand better what it can do. Now, being that this thing has a camera, what else can you do besides mixed reality and six stuff? Well, when you are connected to pretty much any form of power source, you have an active camera right here, which you can use to record just about anything. It doesn't have to be, um, it doesn't have to be uh, MR or XR. So, for example, if you are connected to your mobile phone, you can simply press this button right here single click will take a picture of anything that you're seeing if you press and hold it it will it will start recording as far as recording time this camera has a built-in storage of two gigabyte two gigabytes when you are connected to anything but the actual beam pro it records and stores all images and videos onto your glasses and you can then choose to export it to your Beam Pro when next time you connect, or you can simply go into the menu and toggle export mode. Once your glasses is connected to your computer, you will be able to transfer those images and videos to your PC. So with recording, you can record between the interval of 15 seconds, 30 seconds, and 60 seconds. That's the time that you have. And you can activate the camera at any given time that you like. This, you know what, this actually reminds me of the uh, Vicu glasses that I just did a review of. So I have these glasses right here, right? That I ride, I mean, that I wear when I'm riding my e-bike. I can simply, at any given time, I can simply press this button to record whatever I'm seeing. That means now with these glasses, I can pretty much do the same thing. If I have these glasses on right now and I have some kind of power source to it, I can simply click on this and immediately take a picture. I can press and hold and it will immediately record video. It doesn't need any kind of additional processing. It will do it right away onto the device itself. So that is what the actual eye gives you. Now, should you get it? I think it's, it depends. I really think it's cool. I think that once you experience Six Dove, man, it's hard to go back away from it. Six Dove is amazing. And being able to show people what you're looking at is really, really cool. Although it's not something you're gonna make use of a lot, but it is really cool. What's really what's even cooler is that Six Dove. Now the caveat to this Six Dove is that you need to have an environment that has light because this camera are light dependent they don't, they don't have ir they cannot see in the dark basically in any room if you are in a dark room six dove will not work because the camera needs to have an understanding of the environment you are in to be able to fix that image in the same spot so if you're in your bedroom watching the movie at night time in the dark six dove will not work if you are on a bus and it's a bit dark in the bus, six stuff might not work. There needs to be light that for six stuff to operate in a way that this camera will work. 
that also goes for MR. You, the camera needs to be able to see your environment, you know, for it to work. I personally think that if you have the X Fuel One glasses, the One or the One Pro, you should get it because, I mean, this thing is super, super light. I you don't feel it like you really don't feel it on these glasses, and I truly think it's amazing. Maybe they will add more features to it in the future. I don't know, but for now, for what it can do, I think it's pretty, pretty cool. And for ninety nine dollars. Go ahead, go to the description right now, click the link and buy it if it's available. Get it. If you don't like it, return it. You have a 30 day policy with Xreal's website or Amazon, whatever you choose to get it from. As long as it is a 30 day policy, I encourage you to get it. And I think that once you try, you're probably not going to return it. That's just how good I think it is. But anyway, guys, if you have a question, Put it down in the comment section if you like this video please hit the like button if you're not subscribed please subscribe i would like to do more giveaways to somebody random in the comment section please help me grow help my channel uh reach higher numbers that way i can get more of these products from these companies shout out to extra for sending me the extra eye for free for a review however everything i have said in this video is 100 my opinion Xru has never required me to say anything in particular. They have never paid me for any video. They just have always supported my channel and helped me get the latest product to you guys. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.